Hello and welcome to the newsroom. I am Mary Kanu. Nigerian Speaker of the House of Representatives, Femi Bajabi Amila, has suspended his security aide who shot a newspaper vendor in the head. Bajabi Amila, in a statement he personally signed and issued in the early hours of Friday, said he did not know that someone was killed in the attempt to protect him until he arrived at his destination. He described the killing as horrible, saying he, he is distraught by the incident. The speaker further sympathized with the victim, his family and the vendors, saying he values human life. And the Director General of the Nigeria Center for Disease Control, NCDC, Chikwe Ikekwazu, says Nigeria had 222 suspected cases of yellow fever, 19 confirmed cases and 76 deaths reported, reported in three states, namely Bauchi, Delta and Enugu, as of November 13. Ihe Kwazu, who said this in response to the spike in cases in the three states, urged Nigerians to take responsibility for their health and of those around them as well as get vaccinated. He added that parents should ensure their children receive the free yellow fever vaccine as part of routine immunization schedule and those in doubt of their vaccination status should visit a health facility to request for the vaccine. He further asked that Nigerians should refrain from referring to the disease as strange disease. And the Anambra State government has denied receiving 25 billion naira bond from the Death Management Office. A senator in the state had alleged that the state's government secretly raised the federal road rehabilitation bond without the knowledge of the House of Assembly. The state's commissioner for information and public enlightenment, C. Don Adinuba, in a statement on Thursday in Oka debunked the claim. Adinuba said before a bond could be issued for a state government in Nigeria, the State House of Assembly, the Death Management Office, the Federal Ministry of Finance, Budget and Economic Planning, as well as the Central Bank of Nigeria and the Securities and Exchange Commission must be involved. And now in COVID stories, no fewer than eight members of the National Youth Service Corps, NYSC, posted to Weilo Orientation Camp in the Gajua local government area of Bauchi State have tested positive for coronavirus. Information Officer of Bauchi Primary Healthcare Agency, Ibrahim Sani, who disclosed this in a statement, said Chairman of the agency, Rilwanu Mohamed, has instructed the surveillance team to carry out sample collection and investigation of all core members undergoing training in the camp to avoid the escalation. He also revealed a holding room has since been allocated by the state director of the NYSC for those suspected to be positive cases. And the Nigerian National Petroleum Corporation, NNPC, on Thursday said the volume of crude oil discovered in Benetro was in commercial quantity. It said Nigerian geologists were spearheading efforts in the discovery of the commodity in the trough. The corporation's group managing director, Mele Keari, disclosed this in a statement issued in Abuja by NNPC spokesperson Kene Obateru. In its statement on Thursday, the NNPC said it would grow the nation's hydrocarbon reserves to 40 billion barrels through strengthened exploratory activities in the inland frontier basins across the country. And now in international news, the head of a South African panel investigating rampant state corruption under Jacob Zuma shot down a bid by the former president to have him step aside. Zuma, seeking what he called an impartial judge, had accused Judge Raymond Zondo of bias and demanded he recuse himself. But Zondo tossed out the application, saying it failed to meet the test for a reasonable apprehension of bias. And now in sports story, a total of eight players with Nigerian heritage were picked during Wednesday's night's National Basketball Association NBA draft for the 2020-2021 season. The annual draft sees NBA teams choose from the world's best young talent and the draft was originally scheduled for June 25th but had been delayed because of the fallout from the coronavirus and was this year held via video calls. Precious Achiuwa is the third Nigerian born player to be drafted in the first round since 2000 and this is the first time eight players with Nigerian origin have been picked in the first round of the same draft. And that's all for now in the newsroom. Many thanks for watching.